Uh, we got Smin asking a random question, but what'd you do before YouTube? Oh, you want to know my life before YouTube? All right, so I worked a couple of jobs. My first job ever was Rue 21. Your boy was uh, a retail worker at Rue 21. Let me see, for those of you who don't know, this is basically like a, a, a trendy uh, a teen store. Oh, jeez. This is what it was. This is This was my first job. It's just like a, a like a little trendy teen store. It's like basically Zoomies if you were a preppy kid. That's that's kind of like the way I can describe it. That was my first job. I got that like at 16. I was paid $8.25 an hour. I would go to it after school. I enjoyed it. I didn't mind it. I thought it was fine. I definitely got to feel um what like how do I say customer service dealing with people in person? Cause you know, you see shows or movies exaggerate those annoying people that let me speak to your manager. Let me do this. Those people exist. The people who try to like get a discount on everything or try to swindle their way into buying something. <laughs> Someone said the Chris lore. Yeah, this is Chris lore right here. Get your notepads out guys. So that was my first job. My second job. I'm not going to pull them up cause I don't want to like dox them or anything. I worked at a, a learning center where kids would leave a uh, 3C Films origin story <laughs> where uh, it was a learning center where kids were taken there because their parents probably work late. They couldn't take care of them or they couldn't pick them up till later or whatnot because, you know, school gets out at three. Some parents don't get out of work till like what, like five, six, seven o'clock in the day. So they would come to this learning center and I would just be a teacher helping them with their homework. And I actually love that job. I, I, I thought working with kids is so funny. Kids are so hilarious and they're so mean kids are so honest i got called i got one kid who's like seven eight years old he came up to me and said chris he said mr chris because i wasn't an official teacher so they didn't call me by my last name they said mr chris and the kid came up to me and said why do you have a witch's nose look at that kid said i had a witch's nose and he wanted to know why i was that hit i was like oh <laughs> but like, and like it wasn't even and the, the funny thing with kids is they don't do that to hurt your feelings like they're genuinely curious they're like i saw wizard of oz last night why you kind of look like the green girl like that's that's just what the, <laughs> the kids were so it was funny in that aspect that, that kids are just funny uh and and helping them with homework you feel smart you know two plus two like you don't know that <laughs> kid let me teach you um so i did that but uh, that wasn't paying the bills enough because that was a uh, that only paid like ten dollars and twenty five cents, which might sound like a lot, but it really wasn't. When you have like you want to get a car, a new car, or you maybe want to move out and get your own apartment. So then I I did collections where you go sit down at a computer, put on a pair of headphones, and then the machine just gives you numbers and the and they tell you, all right, this person owes two hundred fifty dollars on their T Mobile bill. Try to get them to pay it and. You know what? Your boy was pretty good at that. I was very convincing. Like, you guys see me? I have a little bit of charm when I talk on, on camera and whatnot. So over the phone, I was risen these customers up. I was like, T-Mobile's going to come to your house if you don't pay this bill. But I'll give you a 10% discount if you do it right now. And it, that job was also great because collections, you work off commissions and, and whatnot. But that And that was the last job I worked. That was the job where I was hating my life because after – like two years of just working at a job where all you do <laughs> Indian scammer. I promise I was not a scammer. I was, I was, I was, I was actually just a regular guy, but, but just two years of, of going to work and then you answering calls. And obviously no one wants to be called to told, to be told, pay this money, pay this money. So you get yelled at a lot. And so to get yelled at for like eight hours of the day, it's draining. It crushes your soul. You get depressed and that's kind of what drove me to YouTube. That's where I was like, because I was going to college at the time too. And I was not having fun in college. It was not like American Pie or all those movies where people were drinking, partying, the ladies were all over me. College is sad. You go into a big room and you're all strangers with one another. You don't you don't talk to each other like in high school where like your teacher's talking and you're talking to your buddy or you hang out after class before the bell rings. College wasn't like that. You just, people Went in there, they learned, and they left. <laughs> At least that was my experience. Some of you guys might have had a better one. Someone says here, I hate college. Yeah. But stick with it, though. But I, I couldn't do it because uh, I knew if I did, I, I would end up hating the job. So I forced myself to get a YouTube channel. And 
that's the Chris lore here, guys. So <laughs> hopefully you guys were enjoying that talk right there.